Good morning, children. In science, we have two papers, paper one, physical science, and paper two, biological science. Coming to the physical science, again, we have physics and chemistry. So in that physics, we have six lessons. Coming to that six lessons, the first one, heat. Next, refraction of light at plane surfaces. Refraction of light at curved surfaces. And human eye at colored finger. Electric current and electromagnetism. Coming to these six chapters, we That's have 25 good. to 28 marks like that. So, better to gain all the marks in physical science is very easy. When it is very easy means when you have to read the textbook. If you read the textbook thoroughly, then you will get out of marks in the physical science. No doubt at all in that. And moreover, in the physical science paper, we have 17 questions. In the first row, one mark questions. So one mark questions, eight are there. Next, uh, second row, one, two marks questions, three are there. Eight plus three, 11. And again, four marks questions, three are there. 11 plus 3, 14. And again, 8 marks questions, uh, 3 are there. So 14 plus 3, total 17. Coming to the, while answering the one mark questions in physical science, first of all, in the first moment, 8 questions you have to answer like that. In the first, uh, first of all, the first question, uh, why do stars appear twinkling? So simply you will tell the star uh, due to atmospheric refraction. Yes, it's absolutely right. But you don't write a single word answers for one mark questions. You have to write in a single sentence. But the stars appear twinkling due to atmospheric refraction. So these are the very important guidelines to score 50 out of 50 in physical science paper. The first important thing is you have to write the one mark question and answers in not in a single word, in a single sentence. Along with the question, write the answer. But don't copy the question. You have to write stars appear twinkling due to atmospheric refraction. So better answer the one mark questions in a single sentence. Coming to the two marks questions. In that, uh, first of all, in one mark questions, uh, eight questions you have to answer. Sometimes four questions from physics and four questions from chemistry. The paper can be given like that. But not always the eight marks questions will be from four, four marks from physics and four marks from chemistry like that. Sometimes the total marks will be deviated. Five marks physics, three marks chemistry, otherwise four five marks uh, chemistry, three marks physics. It will be like that. Anyhow, the paper, you have to answer all the eight marks. So better write the questions in a single sentence. And uh, for suppose write the SI unit of uh, refractive index. Now what is the SI unit of the refractive index? No units. You have no need very well, but don't write no units. The SI unit of refractive index has no units. Write like that. Coming to the two marks. Two marks questions means at least you have to answer four points for the two marks. Four halves are two marks. And coming to the four mark questions. If the differences are given means write the differences between evaporation and boiling. Like that means you have to write uh, here in evaporation five points and uh, in boiling five points like that. Yes. Coming to the eight marks questions. Coming to the eight marks questions. You need to answer very perfectly the eight marks questions. There is a chance to remove the mark here in this section. Eight marks, four marks like that. So don't give the chance to the examiner to remove the marks from your paper. The presentation should be very well. If it is very well, then the examiner uh, examiner is not able to 
uh, take even a half mark from your paper. So that is in your hands. So better write the eight marks questions. Definitely eight marks questions. So one uh, lab activity question will be given like that. While writing the lab activity questions, you have to write a A apparatus procedure. If any observations are there, observations. And if table means a table, a diagram. Everything you have to mention as the side headings. Better write the side headings with a black pen and write the main ones with a blue pen. While writing these lab activities, you must follow these guidelines, say apparatus, procedure, observations, table, diagram, everything. Diagrammatic representation in physical science is very, very important. You must mention the diagram very neatly and label the parts. Labeling the parts is also very important. Statement. For suppose better you follow the textbook for diagram for any key point or for any question or for any table. <coughs> better you follow the textbook. By following the textbook, in the diagram you have uh, at least uh, eight label the parts will be there next. You have to label at least six in the examination. If you, if you forget one or two means no problem, but don't uh, forget uh, all. You have to write if eight uh, parts will be there in the diagram means you have to mention at least six to seven. If one uh, part means uh, okay, leave it. If you do not, if you forget it, if you do not forget it, means write all the parts, all the parts, mentioning all the parts in the textbook, whatever it is mentioned means it is well and good, and uh, there is no chance to take any mark. So better practice the diagrams very well, and uh, labeling the parts is also very important. If you know, for suppose if you see a uh, generator. Otherwise, uh, electric motor. These type of diagrams is, is there in the electromagnetism. There you have to practice all the diagrams. Coming to the diagrams list for eight marks and four marks, I give you the list. And moreover, in the eight marks questions, if the theory part question are there, means sir. Uh, what are the applications of the specific eight question will be there? You have to write at least 11 to 12 points for that. Then we will get eight out of eight. Right? So one mark questions coming to the paper presentation. One mark questions should be answered in a single sentence. And two marks questions at least you have to mention four points. Coming to the four marks question, if it is the diagram means you have to put the heading. First of all, write the question number, put the heading of the diagram, draw the diagram very neatly, label the parts. By labeling the parts, you must uh, label the parts. Uh, for suppose we have prism questions there like this, sir. Like this, you have to write them. PU incident rate. QR refracted rate. RS emergent rate. While mentioning the parts, the parts should be on the right side. All the parts should be on the right side like this. How the parts should be on the one side. Is it clear? And after writing this, mu is equal to. So by this experiment, we'll uh, calculate the refractive index of the prism. Refractive index of the prism, mu is equal to sine a plus dm by 2 by sine a by 2. So better draw the diagram in the middle of the base and label the parts to one side. Then it will be easy for the examiner to correct the diagram. Next. Coming to the diagrams list. 
you have to practice more and more in the diagrams. So, so many children have done the mistakes in the cycle test like that way, sir. Coming to the myopia, hypermetropia. Myopia means it's a short sight and a concave lens is used to correct myopia. This is all very well known to you. But while drawing the concave lens, so many children have drawn the convex lens. So it's a very big and blunder mistake. Don't do that type of mistakes. Drawing the diagram. Diagrammatic representation is very, very important in the physical science. Concave lens. Next step. Convex lens. So coming to the diagrammatic part, you have to practice the diagrams of myopia, hypermetropia, next one, prism, next electric motor, generator. In generator, AC generator and DC generator are there. AC generator, DC generator. So these will be and moreover gray diagrams. Gray diagrams will be given for four marks so many years. That is a repeated question. Ray diagrams, four marks, so many times repeated. So don't leave ray diagrams, myopia, hypermetropia, next generator, AC, DC, and electric motor. Okay. Next, coming to this, while writing the question and answers, so Faraday's law of electromagnetism, if eight marks given means, sir, their diagrams are there besides the answer. You have to draw the diagrams also. For diagrams also, marks should be there. By looking itself the diagram, the matter will be understood by the examiner what you have written by looking itself the diagram. So, diagrammatic representation is very, 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 very important. And moreover, you have to read the textbook thoroughly while going, uh, before going the exam. Textbook plays a major role among. If you have any doubt, you just clarify with your teacher and report the textbook. That's it. Maybe you have written so many cycle tests. I think you have no doubt in that. If you have any means, you ask your consent teacher and uh, uh, read the textbook thoroughly. Then you will get full marks in the physical sense. And coming to the problematic part in the physics. In problems, we have... Uh, Problems. In the first lesson, we have problems. In the first lesson, we have problems. In the third lesson, in the fourth lesson, and in the fifth lesson, in all the lessons, we have problems. But in the first lesson, we have uh, problems from uh, ice to steam and steam to ice like that. Those problems uh, will be given for eight months. While going through the papers, means uh, First lesson problems will be given for eight marks. So many times, eight marks. And also, the table questions plays a major role in answering physical science exam. First of all, problems and table questions. First, coming to the problems. Coming to the uh, problems. See here, ice, ice at 0 degree Celsius converts to water at 0 degree Celsius converts to water at 100 degree Celsius converts to steam at 100 degree Celsius. So here you have to take Q is equal to L. L means related heat of fusion. L yeah, means mass. Mass, it will be given in the problem. Here you have to take what? AD calorie per gram. This here, Q is equal to MS delta T. And here, again, Q is equal to L. Here, uh, label heat of vaporization means uh, 540 calorie per gram. These type of problems will be given for 8 months from the first lesson. And moreover, what is the SI unit of heat, SI unit of uh, uh, specific heat like that? And the conversions of units. SI unit of heat is 
जाल सो कैसे यूनिट ऑफ स्पेसिफिक हीट इज जाल पर कैसे के सीजीएस यूनिट ऑफ स्पेसिफिक हीट इज कैलोरी पर ग्राम डिग्री सेल्सियस वन कैलोरी पर ग्राम डिग्री सेल्सियस इज इक्वल टू हाउ मेनी जाल पर कैसे के लाइक दैट 4.2 So first of all, of course, suppose A, B, C, D, zero point five, one, zero point zero nine, two point three, like that, it will be given. Which substance has the most specific heat? And can the calorie per gram degree Celsius is equal to joule per kg Kelvin? So you should find out one calorie per gram degree Celsius is equal to Joule per kg Kelvin. There, uh, you need no need to do all the procedures step by step because the table is given and four questions are given under the table. So each question carries one mark if it is given for four marks question. So gunshot, you have to write the answer. One calorie per gram degree Celsius is equal to dash joule per kg Kelvin means. <coughs> 4.2 into 10 to 1, 4200 are 4180. Because one calorie is equal to 4.18 joules and 4.2 joules. By that we can work. No need of doing conversion. All that we just write the answer in a single sentence. And which substance? Sir, uh, for suppose if water is having to specific heat one. Why? Why do we use water as a coolant? So these type of questions will be given uh, for the in the first lesson eight. So water has more specific heat, so that's why we use water as a coolant like that. Which metal is used to prepare cooking utensils? So copper, like that. You have to answer. Is it clear? In the first chapter, we discussed what are the concepts you have to remember in your brain. Means first of all, these eight marks problems and one more thing, table questions. Table questions means four questions will be given and four ones are four marks. So uh, there is no chance to take the half mark or one mark in this type of table questions. So you will get full marks if you write correctly. In order to answer these type of table questions, you have to follow the text and uh, read thoroughly the text. Concentrate on it. Is it clear? And conversions of units, as a unit Celsius, unit degree Celsius to Kelvin, Kelvin to degree Celsius, like that. If foreign heat also given means in the middle, uh, you have to remove the table. C by hundred is equal to y minus thirty two by one eighty is equal to k minus two seventy three by hundred like that. If you remove this, you will get each and every thing. Uh, you may convert Celsius to foreign heat. For me to Kelvin, a Kelvin to for me, for me to Celsius, like that. Next, coming to this refraction, the second lesson in physics, refraction of light at the plane surfaces. In the plane surfaces, Coming to this, this is the surface of separation. Last year, one more question will be given from this, sir, and uh, it is given like this. This is a direct medium, and this is the denser medium. So you have to complete this diagram. It is very easy to you. Whenever the light ray travels from direct medium to denser medium, what happens? It bends towards the north. Whenever it comes from denser medium to direct medium, then what happens? It bends away from the normal. So these type of questions will be given as one marks. 
and moreover one more thing for two marks it in what cases does a light ray uh, not deviate i think we have given in the cycle test also this question in what cases does a light ray not deviate means when the light ray passes through the normal when the light ray passes through the normal it does not deviate so better remember that when light ray travels on rarer to denser it bends towards the normal when light ray travels from denser to rarer it bends away from the normal and when the light ray does not deviate means when it passes through the normal the light ray does not deviate next next in this uh, in this chapter we have a uh, important questions coming to the eight marks makes a sin i by sin r we have seen this question frequently in the papers sin i by sin r and uh, the formation of mirrors working of optical fibers next uh, refraction through glass lab these questions are very important for the eight marks and four marks questions sir uh, you have seen from this is uh, formation of mirrors will also be given for four marks also sometimes so better while writing that we have to draw the diagram principle what is mirrors we have to explain each and every thing in that it's working of optical fibers optical fibers diagram you have to write next term a matter uses everything you have to mention neatly with the star points diagrammatic representation is very very important and uh, in this we have uh, some formula refractive index what is the formula for refractive index mu is equal to c by v c what is the value of c it is given for one mark questions c means a uh, velocity of light in magnitude <laughs> 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second and v means uh, velocity of light in a particular medium like that relative refractive index everything you have to remember and coming to the third lesson refraction of light at the curved surfaces refraction of light at the curved surfaces in this curved surfaces definitely we have only two questions for eight marks very easy scoring from this lesson or uh, ray diagrams ray diagrams will be given for four marks we have seen very uh, frequently ray diagrams for four marks all the six cases you have to prepare convex lens uh, everyone will get very easily convex lens but concave lens also you better prepare ma only one or uh, two cases there wherever you keep the object in the concave lens you will get only virtual erect and diminished image so better you once you see that uh, diagram and moreover convex lens a di concave lens a diagram will be given for one mark also similar he is asking like this also in the examination this is the symbol of the concave lens and this is optic center f1 to f1 c1 f2 So we have to R C two. He is giving like this. But you think A B is the refracted ray. You have to complete this ray diagram. Given that A B is the refracted ray, means how will you complete it? Means already this is the refracted ray. Refracted ray means you have to draw the incident ray like this. When the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis, it passes through both essentially. But this is a diverging lens, so that's why the refracted ray will go like this. In the back, we have to extend like this to the points. For this, you will get one mark. Is it clear, ma? In this, uh, in this concave lens also, we have only two cases: the uh, yet infinity between infinity and the optic center. wherever you keep the object you will get only the virtual erect and diminished rays so better you practice once or that two diagrams also okay. and coming to this in this we have a lens formula 
लेंस मेकर्स फॉर्मूला रिगार्डिंग दीस टू फॉर्मूला लेंस फॉर्मूला लेंस मेकर्स फॉर्मूला वी हैव प्रॉब्लम्स इन दैट समटाइम्स दिस प्रॉब्लम विल बी गिवन फॉर फोर मार्क्स और एट मार्क्स और टू मार्क्स आल्सो सो प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम्स आल्सो प्लेस अ मेजर रोल इन द फिजिकल साइंस यू बेटर प्रैक्टिस द प्रॉब्लम्स आल्सो कमिंग टू दिस लेंस फॉर्मूला 1 by f is equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u f is the focal length v is the image distance and u is the object distance coming to the lens makers formula 1 by f is equal to n minus 1 into 1 by r minus 1 by r depending upon these two we have problems also in problems you have to take the sign convention don't forget the sign convention sign convention is very important if you forget it your problem will be totally wrong next ray diagrams after that only two eight marks questions are there in this chapter uh, how do you find the focal length of a lens experimentally and uh, how do you uh, prove that uh, focal length of the lens increases when it is immersed in the water those two you will get and you have written in the cycle test also no problem clear uh, from this and coming to the fifth one uh, human eye and colorful world this human eye and colorful world means uh, diagrams are important eight marks questions are important very 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 important chapter human eye and colorful world <laughs> myopia hypermetropia natural rainbow sometimes rainbow question will be asked explain the formation of rainbow means uh, you can write natural rainbow or artificial better write natural rainbow coming to sometimes you will ask like that how do you <coughs> how do you form the rainbow in your class means then uh, natural rainbow we cannot create in the class whenever it uh, rain falls and sunlight is there then we will get the natural rainbow in the sky itself Well, then you have to answer only artificial rainbow. So better read natural rainbow and artificial rainbow question and answers. Next uh, prism question is there. How do you find the refractive index of the prism experimentally? So that that is a lab activity question. That is a lab activity question. You have to write a in apparatus procedure. observation stable diagram everything next one in this we have a myopia far point and hypermetropia near point is there there we are getting problems in the hypermetropia we have one problem regarding uh, that that problem will be given from four mark also uh, one or two years so the other near point is Yeah, is equal to twenty by d by d minus twenty by. This we have one problem also in our uh, workbook and textbook. Yeah, is equal to hundred is given like that. So if I do uh, calculate d, d thirty three point something, you will get in this problem by substituting yeah, is equal to hundred yeah. in this. And uh, next one, power. The lesser unit of the power of the lens is a diopter. It is given for one mark. Sir. So P is equal to one by f in meters or hundred by f in centimeters. By looking at some whether he has in centimeters or meters, you uh, read the question paper thoroughly and answer it. Myopia, hypermetropia, natural rainbow, artificial rainbow, and colors. blue color of the sky white color of the sky and the working of ciliary muscles iris these are two marks questions on the working of ciliary muscles iris so better read the textbook structure of human eye you will get all the answers i think you already got the answers no problem next uh, what's the next chapter electric current Before going to the electric current, here this is a near point, and the far point is there in the myopia. In the in the far point, f is equal to minus d. 
because for uh, concave lens f is uh, negative f is equal to minus d these two important number for one marks he is asking otherwise uh, for a four marks question he is giving for this also yeah. next coming to the refractive index of the prism mu is equal to sin a plus b m by this by sin a by b where a is the angle of the prism and uh, d m is the angle of minimum deviation by substituting the values given in the problem you will get the answers this will be given for two marks only mu is equal to refractive index of the prism next coming to the electric current in this electric current uh, this plays a major role electric current and electromagnetism all the children will feel uh, somewhat difficulty in these chapters coming to this electric current mainly the most and important uh, question is uh, ohm's law verification resistance in series and parallel combination and uh, next uh, overloading electric shock in this uh, chapter also we have some table based questions he will give some electric circuit and he is asking the uh, four questions relating that circuit how are the resistors connected they are connected in resistors are connected in series combination what is the total resistance means i will place on to 2 plus 3 5 ohms which physical quantity remains constant in this combination current which physical quantity remains constant in this combination means electric current which physical quantity varies in the series combination means potential difference next why the total resistance the series combination increases why the total resistance and why the resultant resistance in the series combination increases means why connect this is series in the series combination n to n what happens the length of the resistors increases the length of the resistors increases already we know that the resistance is directly proportional to the length resistance is directly proportional to the length if length of the conductor increases automatically resistance what happens increases so that's why the resultant or the total or the equivalent resistance in the series combination increases due to the increase in the length of the resistors coming to the parallel combinations so the resistors are connected in parallel combination and uh, what is the resultant resistance this this is 2 ohms 2 ohms 2 ohms like that means we will write uh, like this 1 by r is equal to 1 by r one plus 1 by r two plus 1 by r three like this you will calculate which physical quantity remains constant in this uh, parallel combination potential difference which physical quantity varies correct so why is the resultant resistance in the parallel combination decreases when compared to the individual resistances so what is the reason for that the reason is resistance is inversely proportional to the area of cross section while connecting like this the area of cross section increases if the area of cross section increases automatically the resistance decreases so that's why the resultant resistance in the parallel combination decreases 
So in this lesson also there are table based questions are there and moreover so many problems are there. How do we find the current bill in a home like that? So uh, that current bill problem is also very very important and uh, moreover uh, uh, in this uh, problems are there relating uh, this formula rho l by a r is equal to rho l by a. R means resistance, low means specific resistance, CR means length, A means area of transaction. So, a, R is equal to rho L by A, and uh, we have uh, one more question. Uh, uh, power. Power. We have so many formulae for the power. P is equal to W by P, P is equal to GFS by P, otherwise, BI. Otherwise, the high square, otherwise, V square. Pay. Relating the information given in the problem, you have to choose one formula for this power. And moreover, the questions will be given like this power, what, current. So, this is power SI unit is what. So, you have to write the SI unit of current. What is the SA unit of current and theory? Like the one more question simply that one is. And the most important one more question from this chapter is write the mathematical representation of Mohs. Very easy. What is the answer? Yes, V is equal to IR. V is equal to IR. Mathematical representation of Mohs. Next. In this uh, current electricity chapter, in the government refunder, we have a table based question is given. Resistivity values, and uh, he asked uh, which one is uh, acts as a conductor, which one. Uh, uh, some. Uh, Silver, copper, aluminium, tungsten, nickel, nichrome, silicon, rubber. These values are given in the table in the pre final government pre final question paper. And he asked four questions in that. Name the material that acts as the best conductor. So here the resistivity values will be very less, means they are metals, means conductors. After that, very high means insulators. Reminding uh, uh, which uh, name the material that is used to make filament in the electric bulb. Filament means you already well known about that tungsten and the heating elements, nichrome. And the name the material that is used to make diodes, transistors, and integrated circuits. So, while reading this uh, current electricity, first of all, in one phase we have in the textbook, we have. Uh, resistivity values and some matter will be given besides the table. You better go through that matter, understand it. Then you are able to answer this type of questions, table based questions. Circuit given and table based questions means it is very easy, series parallel like that. But this type of questions means somewhat a confusion will be there. So that's why you better read uh, two or three times the table and the matter present in the text. Then you will get one clarity regarding that. And uh, moreover, the last chapter in the physics is uh, electromagnetism. In that electromagnetism, we have uh, so many eight marks questions. One is uh, water question, generator question, AC, TC, and Faraday's law of electromagnetism, and uh, lens learn, define lens learn, and explain and experiment to prove the Lens learn. Then uh, definitely you have to go through the textbook for lens. Lens learn activity is given in the textbook now. And Faraday's law activity and uses of Faraday's law in daily life. So those type of questions are uh, they are asking very frequently uses of uh, Faraday's law like that. Next, complete the ray diagrams. Next, uh, water. Coming to the electromagnetism, water 
AC generator, DC generator, Faraday's law, Lenz's law, and uses of Faraday's law. The most important uh, question is oysters experiment. First activity oysters experiment in electromagnetism. And moreover, in the two months, they are asking are the magnetic field lines are closed and loose? First question in electromagnetism. So uh, you have to read that questions and uh, we have only very small uh, two marks uh, problems in the electromagnetism. Coming to this uh, B is equal to I by A or pi is equal to B A. Otherwise, if I is there B A cos theta means F is equal to L I B sin theta force on a current carrying conductor. And uh, force on a moving charge. F is equal to Q V B sine theta. And uh, depending upon these formulas, we will get a two marks, one mark questions like that. And what is the SI unit of magnetic flux? Units are also very important in this chapter. What is the SI unit of magnetic flux? What is the C <coughs> SI unit of uh, magnetic flux density? Like that. Magnetic flux means bubble. Magnetic flux density means bubble per meter square is also called Tesla. And uh, units, next formula, next question and answers. In this uh, electromagnetism. Next. So, there are six chapters in the physics. You have to read thoroughly each and everything in the textbook mainly. First of all, you have to answer the one mark questions in a single sentence, two marks questions, four marks questions, and eight marks questions. After that, table based questions. You have to go through the table based questions and problems. Problems in the first on in all the lessons, problems are there. Once go through the problems in all the lessons. Next, problems, table based questions, and one mark questions. Definitely, in one mark questions, uh, they are asking one reason and assertion question is there. Assertion and a reason questions are there. So, definitely, you go through that uh, one mark questions, uh, reason and uh, assertion. Next, uh, he is asking for one marks uh, diagrams also sometimes. Uh, Draw any types of lens or a draw concave lens or complete the ray diagram. Like that, he is asking uh, next uh, conversions. And uh, table is uh, giving for uh, anything one marks or four marks or two marks, like the table based questions also very important. And uh, diagrams, diagrammatic representation is very, 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 very important. Among Uh, better in uh, uh, refraction of uh, light at uh, carbon surfaces is there. Now, in carbon surfaces, we have so many types of lens, uh, convex lens, concave lens, plano convex, uh, plano concave like that. Coming to the convex lens, we call convex lens is a converging lens. But the converging lens always uh, is the convex lens always acts as converging lens, means we cannot say. Because sometimes it acts as a diverging also, depending upon the refractive index of the medium it keeps. So that's why in the ref uh, refraction of light at curved surfaces, uh, at the end of the lesson, before the example, we have some note point. Note is given, one paragraph textbook. In that, uh, you have to read that uh, para. Note is given, one para. Read that para, then you will get one idea when convex lens behaves as converging and when it behaves like a diverging like that. You read that para also and uh, go through that example given under that para. Next. Uh, in uh, current electricity, we have a key for class. One is the loop law. And uh, second, uh, first one is the junction law, and the second one is the loop law. Coming to the junction law, it is very easy. Next, coming to the loop law, somewhat you feel difficult in the loop law, in the sign conversions like that. So he is asking the kick of class for uh, either for four marks or eight marks. <coughs> 
if at all, if eight marks means you have to write the uh, junction law. Uh, what is junction law? Give one example, draw one diagram. And uh, junction law is based on the law of conservation of uh, charge. And after that, loop the uh, write the definition. And uh, one loop you have to take and write how the potential difference varies in that loop. And uh, it uh, the loop law based on the law of conservation of uh, energy like that you have to write it. And uh, don't forget to read that uh, Kirchhoff class also. You have to read. Okay, children. I think you got my points. Hope you understood. And. Uh, one more thing, better read the textbook thoroughly before going the examination hall and uh, prepare well. Okay, all the best.